All right, y'all. So in this one, we're actually going to be covering a lot of bullish information, which actually has got me a little excited, a little excited, man. So I know obviously um, I've stopped giving Vivi a lot of leeway with my trust. So I have to actually see things that is, is tied to something that seems legitimate. So that being said, I've been looking into the the Disney and Fortnite partnership and and what's being said about it. I've been seeing people's opinions. I've also seen some interesting finds. So we have some big stuff we're going to be covering. It, it also a freaking VB asset potentially spotted in the Fortnite trailer. So let me know if you all saw that, if you think that it is, but we're gonna get to that point in the video soon here. But that being said, we're going to start here. Before we jump into it, drop that thumbs up and subscribe. But yeah, so if you don't know, Disney has invested $1.5 billion for an equity stake in Epic Games because they're going to be building this universe that's going to be interoperable with Fortnite. So they have confirmed interoperability. Now, um, that's that's huge. Like, they're, them confirming interoperability. One thing that I did not see throughout this, the document, throughout what, what's been said, is the word NFT, which which is good. It means that these companies are starting to learn their lesson. Like they're starting to learn their lesson that, that they should not be using the terms NFT. So I'm gonna play the trailer for you all so you all can see this if you have not already. But yeah, I didn't see the I didn't see the term NFT, which is good. I saw other terms that, you know, that kind of says the same thing, but um yeah. And, but they also said the $1.5 billion investment is is um the transaction is actually subject to regulatory approvals now this is interesting this is very very interesting and if you don't know what i was talking about right here let me see this right here this look familiar to y'all now I'm, I'm gonna show you all another picture that actually zoomed in on a little bit but yeah it said it's subject to regulatory approvals and where else are we been we've been hearing people crying about approvals Vivi, they, they, they've been talking about regulations and, and waiting for approvals for everything. So, I mean, and a, a lot of the language that I'm hearing Disney use is Vivi language. It's the same things we hear from Akomi. It, it's pretty much the same language. Like, so the regulatory approvals, that was a, uh, you know, that was kind of a hit on the head. I'm like, uh, okay, you know, like what, what are they talking about? Now, obviously, Vivi isn't the only company that needs regulatory approvals, obviously. But that's where we hear that being mentioned so much. Needing that and them saying it in an article is two different things. Um, but then the interoperability with Fortnite, making it a, a, a point to, to make it clear that it's interoperable with Fortnite. Why would Disney go out of their way to make that clear in that way? So yeah, that says something as well. Um, and in this, this little universe that they're gonna be building, this, it says that the exact wording is consumers can play watch shop and engage with content characters and story from disney pixar marvel star wars avatar and more so all brands vv currently holds and um the consumers so obviously them naming them consumers it's going to be things to 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 buy it's going to be a lot of content to consume it's going to be you know it, it, seems, it seems like it's going to be it's going to be huge which is kind of now we're going to talk about how I think Vivi could actually fall into this because it, it's a it's a most bullish scenario and then it's a okay at least Vivi's not trash scenario. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, but then also they said in the article they said um, the consumers will be able to express their fandom in a Disney way. That sounds a lot more like Vivi language to me. So you can express your fandom in a Disney way. You're waiting for regulatory approvals, you know, and um, and you, you're interoperable with Fortnite. So these multiple cases here, you know, it it makes me it makes me think a lot about Vivi. I, I'll just say that it makes me think a lot about Vivi. Now, obviously, this is still speculation. Nothing is confirmed until it's confirmed, but. You, you can't deny that language. You can't deny that language. And then over here where the partner statue is at, I don't know if anyone's taking it this far, but if you look over at these like little buildings on this this huge thing here, it's the VVverse, we know that our showrooms are kind of in the air on something like this. 
So look at this, you got other parts of the city, every other part of the city in here is on the ground. The buildings are all on the ground. Then this one section with something that looks similar to Vivi is in the sky? And Vivi is in the sky? I mean, that, that you know, that, that looks interesting to me, but let's actually go into um the partner statue here. Let, let's go into the partner statue, see if you all can see the same thing. So look at this. So shout out to Jeremy. So as you can see, people are speculating that this is a partner statue. As you can see, the arm right here, it looks like that same arm is right here. Mickey Mouse, you know, kinda. It kind it kind of looks like a partner statue for sure. I, I can say that. It looks like a partner statue for sure. And like I said, this looks like the little VV VV landing pad or whatever. So this looks like it could be the case. Let me know if you all believe that this is indeed the partner statue and if this makes you a lot more bullish on VV and the things they have going on right now. Because I have to admit, this is very interesting. This is very interesting, and it is one of the most bullish cases that I have. Well, one of the most bullish things that I've seen. Um, yeah, that's one of the most bullish things that I've seen towards Vivi. Now, before we jump into the next part, um, I do want to talk about the the most bullish case for Vivi and the, you know, not so. It, it, it's still bullish. So let, let, let's talk about the least. Let's talk about the least bullish. So the least bullish that I'm considering here is Vivi's NFTs could just be like these little statues that goes into the metaverse where you put it on desk and you just sit them around places or you have them standing around the experience like like you go to Fortnite's world with your AR goggles on and then a VV statue is just standing around there. So you're just walking past a bunch of VV content and that's it. Like, like that's it. It's like a. Uh, that's it. It's just a. It's like VV in itself is just a huge, massive showroom where you just show off assets. That's all VV is good for. That's bullish because it has a use case in something as big as Fortnite and something as big as this collaboration between Disney and Fortnite. So VV being there in any capacity is massive, but it's very, very horrible in comparison to what VV actually promised, which was Ready Player One. But it also leaves the little, it leaves the little leeway where it's like, VV said they were aiming for Ready Player One. If they can partner into a Ready Player One, technically it's not a lie. Technic they never said that they would be the ones to create Ready Player One. They said they overall wanted to take this project into Ready Player One, which if Disney and Fortnite builds Ready Player One and VV is in there, that would mean they found a way to make that happen, which honestly, with Vivi's level of competence that I've seen thus far with the Vivi-verse, this is the most genius thing that they have done yet, in my opinion. So I'm all for something like that, if that is the case. So that's huge. But the most bullish scenario here is giving these assets utility, giving Vivi's assets utilities and linking that in with Fortnite. So Fortnite, taking a partner statue, for instance, or, or some type of skin and, and, and associating it with VV's assets. If Fortnite found a way to do that or, or wanted to do that, but I can't see Fortnite wanting to do that. I really can't see Fortnite wanting to, you know, merge assets in any way with VV where, oh, VV has this, this Spider-Man. Let, let us associate one of our skins to VV Spider-Man. Why, why would Fortnite do that when they could just um, convert all their assets to NFTs and keep their own assets, keep 100% of the profits? Well, split the profits between um, themselves and Disney as opposed to now Vivi gets a cut of that too. It's like, mm, no, no, you're good. No, you're good. But um, yeah, I mean, so so that's, that's the most bullish scenario is where they partner up like a full team and all three of these companies split a cut. Disney, Fortnite, or and um Vivi all partnering up. The the NFTs are associated with Fortnite. And it actually has multiple different forms of utility because of that partnership. Otherwise, like the most likely scenario I see is Vivi just really being the statues, the collectibles, and stuff that's around the this this universe. So Vivi isn't the biggest key component here. The gaming side, the active side, the, the side with the most going on 
is really going to be the Fortnite side of things and what Fortnite and Disney is working on, which is still not bad. So yeah, I, like I said, like the more that I'm thinking on it, the more this is, if this is what it looks like right here, and if this, if VV is included in this, this is very bullish, man. This is very bullish. So yeah, that being said, we have a little bit from the CEO of Disney speaking on the announcement. So um, let, let's hear this out, see what he has to say about it. ...into a, a strategic relationship with Epic Games, the maker of Fortnite, uh, to not only invest in the company Epic, which took a minority stake, billion, $500 million investment, but we're also creating with them a huge uh, Disney universe uh, that will be for gaming and for play and for watching and even for shopping for digital goods and maybe ultimately physical Shopping for digital goods and physical goods. Shopping for digital goods. Definitely. That sounds like VV. Keeping VV in mind. That sounds like it's keeping VV in mind. I have to admit. Definitely physical goods that will live alongside Fortnite, be, but be completely interconnected with Fortnite. It's going to live alongside Fortnite, but interconnected with Fortnite. Listen, listen. As skept like, see, this is the stuff that makes me bullish. Because as skeptical as I am towards Vivi right now, certain things is just undeniable when you hear it, when you're actually listening. And, and I'm completely unbiased. I'm going to remain unbiased, but this is why I know when some something's juicy and good, it's good. Like this is why I'm ultimate bullish when I'm bullish because I'm, I'm, I don't need to be bullish. I don't care about being bullish. And when I hear that, it, 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 make, it make me tingle inside. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, that's what I like to hear. Fortnite, be, but be completely interconnected with Fortnite. It's going to be completely interconnected with Fortnite. What's completely interconnected with Fortnite? Vivi. He's talking about digital goods and how they're going to be completely in interconnected with Fortnite. I mean. That will live alongside Fortnite. Be, alongside. Be completely interconnected with Fortnite. And this represents probably our biggest foray into the game space ever which I think is, is not only timely, but an important step when you look at the demographic trends and you look at where Gen Alpha and Gen Z and even millennials are spending their time in media, it's pretty dramatic in terms of the um, amount of time spent in games. In fact, almost equal to, in some demographics, or equal to or greater than how people are spending their time on movies. And into a, a strategic... So, as you can see, man, this was just a bunch of bullish information a lot of different things pointing towards VV. And I can't lie, there is, this is pretty bullish. This is, this is very, very bullish, especially if it turns out that this is indeed hinting at a, a big collaboration inclusive of VV, which people are bringing up the case that, oh, VV is always with Marvel. I mean, it's, it does say that VV is a company that stays on Marvel and Disney's mind. You can say that, like that's a fair assessment. And then when you hear these people talking, writing articles and stuff like that, and then you're hearing VV's language, it is saying a lot. It is definitely saying a lot. But one thing I will not do is just maximum all out speculate when it comes to things like, oh, they were in a Marvel booth. It means that this is including VV. Like, no, we're not doing that. that that's dead. But with this overwhelming amount of information and evidence pointing towards it, I would say I'm leaning towards Vivi being a big part of this than not. I will say that. And then with the whole new Apple Apple um vision or whatever coming out and you know Vivi being compatible with that already. I mean it's it's some it's some big things here. It's a lot of big information here. So let me know what you all think. Let me know how you all feel. This is very bullish to me. I will say this is a bullish video. You don't see those from me that often these days. So take it in, you know. I, like, like you take that in. <laughs> so yeah, this, this is a video. This is a pretty good one, man. So let me know what y'all think. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.